Hello. We're going to try something here at homegrown veg that we've never done before. We like our experiments. If you're a follower of the channel you'll know that. But we've never actually attempted to grow anything in just wood chips and forest bark. No we haven't. Molly, can you go over there please? Thank you. We've never tried to grow anything in just uh, wood chips and forest bark, but we're going to try and do it now. Um, I've collected some, I've got some in this bag just off camera. Um, and if mycorrhizal fungi, if wild mycorrhizal fungi uh, is what's in this bark and it's shot through with the stuff, I mean it, it is chock a block with fungi, then we're growing these potatoes in wood chips and bark. Mycorrhizal fungi, this has got to be the Rolls Royce of wood chip and bark for the gardener. Anyway, have a look at this. This is the mycorrhizal fungi. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're just going to put a couple of inches in the bottom of this pot like this. I don't know if you can see that, there's the fungi, the white. I'm not too sure if you're getting that. Might be. That's a couple of inches. Okay. And the first potato we're going to sow is a potato called Sharps Express. Okay. This is a potato that's going in. As you can see, it's well chitted and it's well rooted. Excuse me, Molly. Excuse me. Um, it's well chitted and it's well rooted, and Molly's got her eye on it, but she's not having it. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to sit that on this two inch of wood chip and bark. Excuse me, Molly. And we're going to cover it with more wood chip and bark. Now, the problem is, because it's so well developed, there's every chance we could break these off. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use this much smaller pot and invert it over the set, like so, in the bigger pot, and then just bury that pot, and then withdraw it, take it out of the pot, uh, so that we're not actually putting anything with any force on top of this sweet potato. So we sit that in there. Okay, I'll just see if I can let you see that. I'm not too sure if I can. There it is. And we're going to sit this pot over it, like that. Now we're going to fill that with wood chip and bark. Now this will probably take um, at least a couple of weeks before these guys break the surface of this. Um, so, although there's still a danger of frost at night, I'm going to put some protection on it. It's another trick I'm going to show you and you'll like this one as well. Okay, that's just filled up. Seed potatoes in there with a the pot on top of it, we'll find it and we'll shake it and fish it out and that leaves the seed potato behind with all those chits intact. Shake it in, how good was that? No damage at all. Now then, we'll just put another couple of handfuls on there. Now watch this for a neat trick. Because this potato is going to take a week or two before it breaks surface, all it needs to be is warm and damp. This, this um, 
wood chipping bark's already wet, so there's no need to water this mix. Um, it will warm up in this pot, uh, but at night it will get cold and there's a chance of frost. So we'll do this. We'll put the ticket in first so we know what we're doing here. Another plant pot. How good's that? <laughs> the frost's not going to get at that, is it? We just keep checking under this every two or three days. Um, and when we've got some green shoots, we'll probably top this pot off, uh, sit this on again, that'll, that'll get us another week's um, frost protection, and then it's on its own. Okay, we'll pop that one there, we'll get this pot in. We'll do the same with this one. Put a couple of inches in the bottom. And the potato we've got this time is a potato called Foremost. The last one was Sharps Express, this is Foremost. Now as you can see, um, those are well developed cheats and there's every danger you're going to break those off and quite a few roots. So we'll use a plant pot uh, trick again, we'll sit that in there, Let's see if you can see that. You see that? I don't know. Sit that in there, and what we'll do is put this plant pot over it. You see that? Plant pot's over it now, so it's got protection. We'll just fill the pot. Because this bag's about empty now and a bit more manageable, we'll do this. Excuse me, Molly. Excuse me. Okay, let's remember. Take this plant pot out, find it first. Are you keeping an eye on this job, Molly? I think Molly's in charge of this job. Just shake it out, bring it out. And we'll shake that in. Okay, we'll put the ticket in so that we know what we've got in here, foremost. Pop some frost protection on, and that's it. We'll have a look at these in uh, two or three weeks' time, uh, see what's what. Uh, but there's no soil, there's no fertiliser in there, just that forest bark and wood chip, um, and hopefully mycorrhizal fungi. Okay, so this is homegrown veg, signing out.